No one said anything to her about walking out of the shower naked. No one said, hey, Sarah, you want to put some clothes on? You got your father walking around. Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brie with an E. For today's video, if you don't know by the title already, basically, we're going to be reading through Reddit's subreddit, am i the a-hole stories now if you don't know what reddit is basically reddit is a social networking site you can share news latest updates things like that what's going on in the world you can also like answer people's questions that they have about random things like have you ever just searched a question and it leads you to reddit it's a very down the rabbit hole type of place but for today's video we're going to be specifically focusing on the subreddit am i the a-hole it is a place where people come to write in various different stories, personal stories of experiences that they've ex experienced. People write in stories basically of dilemmas they've been through and sticky situations they've been in, in which the sole question they have is, were they the a-hole in this situation? So I've got my handy dandy laptop right here. It's greasy. Don't look at the stains and don't look at the cracked corners. But no, I've got some stories picked out already. Um, I picked them out just based on the title because it gives like a title that briefly summarizes the story. So I picked some interesting and juicy ones. So let's just get into it. Am I the a-hole for announcing my pregnancy news on the same day my cousin announced she was engaged? I, female 30, am a part of an extended family group chat on Facebook. Gotta love those. My family rarely chat in the group unless there is a big life event happening or we are organizing a family event. Earlier this year, one of my aunties asked asked if anyone had any life updates to share. My cousin, female 30, had a particularly big life update and announced she got engaged to her partner of seven years first. Seven years though, it's a long time. All the family, including myself, congratulated her and I was genuinely very happy. I didn't think too much of it at the time, but I thought since we were going around sharing our life updates, I thought it would only be fitting to announce my pregnancy in the group chat as well. All my family congratulated me as well and everyone seemed really excited about my baby news, including my cousin. A couple of days later, my cousin messages a long paragraph absolutely furious she accused me of stealing her spotlight announcing my pregnancy on the same day as her engagement although she seemed happy for me in the group chat the day before i immediately apologized to her and felt so guilty after the fact my cousin never messaged me back after my apology and i didn't talk to her again for the rest of my pregnancy wow i feel really sad about all this as it's now formed a wedge between my mom oh she's british and my auntie as they have taken sides to top it all off several months later my beautiful baby daughter was born on this on the same day as my cousin's birthday coincidence right girl that's that's karma that's not a coincidence i have very recently given birth to a beautiful daughter and i wanted to make a baby announcement on the day she was born however i could not bring myself to do it because my cousin just turned 30 which is a huge milestone it's huge but like you got so many birthdays babes you've had 29 birthdays before all to yourself i'm already not on speaking terms with my cousin and her family just over this and don't want to steal my cousin's spotlight a second time although i feel deep down that i have every right to celebrate my daughter's birth and her future birthdays without having to feel guilty of stealing someone else's spotlight just because they share a birthday all right my judgment she is not the a-hole in this situation. Let's unpack a few things. Auntie, she mentions in the family group chat, the family group chat, does anyone have any major life updates to share? Which now opens the floor to everyone to share, right? So your your cousin goes first. She announces, oh my gosh, me and Brandon, um, we just got engaged. They finally um, proposed after seven years. And so then, you know, our main girl, our queen in this story, she mentions, hey guys, I'm also pregnant. Because guess what? We're still in the sharing room. We're in a sharing bubble right now. You shared with the class what you had to say, and now it is my my girl, my homegirl's turn to now share her news as well, to share with the class. This is a collaboration. This isn't a solo project, right? So I don't know. It's just giving very insecure. It's giving, why does your cousin need to be the spotlight in this moment? Group chat is for the family. That right there completely discredits her entire argument, I guess, of her stealing the spotlight because the spotlight was never hers. And do I think it's completely hilarious that her baby girl is born on the same day as her cousin? absolutely because it's giving karma i hope for her first birthday you go big you go crazy and you steal all the family members from her birthday party am i the a-hole for kicking my sister out of my house because she walked out of my shower naked 
What's going on here? What's going on? I, 21 female, have had my sister, 18 female, over for the past three days as she was fully renovating her apartment that she got for her 18th. She's eight. Why does she have a whole entire apartment at 18? Moving on. That she got for her 18th three weeks ago and couldn't stand being there when it was undergoing. And she said that she would be out most of the time for school or with friends. She doesn't want to go to our parents' home as she can't stand any more interventions from our father as she was not supposed to move in until school finishes. She's still in high school? She's still in high school? Really? Her parents must be paying for it. They must be rich. They must be rich. Because I don't think it's that common these days to even see a 21-year-old have an apartment. Her sister has her own apartment. Like... This is crazy. She doesn't want to go to our parents' home as she can't stand any more interventions from our father as she was not supposed to move in until school finishes. Though, play the I'm 18 card. Ladies and gentlemen, what race is this family? That's all I'm saying. What race is this family not? That's a more important question. I allowed her to stay for this short period and it wouldn't be inconvenient as we all live less than two miles away from each other. Me and my boyfriend, 22 male, Y'all got boyfriends out here? That's crazy. Tell me what it's like. What is that like? My boyfriend, 22 meal, lives together and he adore- He adores my sister? Okay, this is where it's getting weird. Because, you know, I'm imagining her sister would be like five, right? For her boyfriend to adore her? Why does her boyfriend find her 18-year-old sister adorable? What's adorable about an 18-year-old? He adores my sister even though she is, according to him, a- bad influence i have to attend classes most of my days so i am not here from the morning till afternoon slash evening my boyfriend is doing an internship right now so he is not always home but is there more than me my sister for the majority of her life would always walk out of the shower naked and wouldn't care about who will see her this girl's sister is 18 so the fact that for the majority of her life no one said anything to her about walking out of the shower naked no one said hey sarah you want to put some clothes on you got your father walking around this was appropriateness She's out here. She's not in the appropriateness because that, what is that? Why are we walking out of the shower naked and why is no one correcting her on this? Okay, let's move on. One of our bathrooms that she conveniently uses is our bedroom one, where you have to go in our room and walk past it to go to the bathroom. See where this is going. My boyfriend finishes early on Mondays and my sister came home earlier than expected. I usually head home as quick as I can as we want to use this free time together, though my sister had other plans. According to my boyfriend, she went straight into our shower as soon as she came home whilst he was laying down on our bed. She was crying loudly in the shower and proceeded to walk out of the shower naked and back in as she forgot something three times her sister is slimy after finding this out i proceeded to terminate her st terminate her stay why are we using this verbiage let's just say you kicked her out honey she called me unreasonable and an insecure freak my parents put me at fault as well for making her break down as she went back to our parents house my boyfriend has informed me that i overreacted and he just wanted me to tell her to stop doing that as it was bizarre am i the a-hole I mean, it's so very clearly obvious. She is not the a-hole in this situation. I really want to read the comments for this one. One user says, not the a-hole, your house, your rules. I think it goes further than that, with it just simply being about, I don't know, human decency not to walk around your sister's boyfriend without clothes. I don't know. I don't think that seems too much like a specific rule in someone's house. I think that's just like common sense, you know? All right, another user says, my sister was like this for a while. She kissed my now husband when we first started dating on a night out drinking. Everything used to be a competition between us in her mind. Y'all just have really weird sisters. I think that's the end of the story. Like, what? Am I the a-hole for not making my children be quiet while my wife had a headache? Let's continue. <laughs> Been with my wife for two years. I have two children from a previous relationship who are five and eight. Currently seven months pregnant. Been married and living together for five months. It's been an adaption for everyone, mostly the children. During our relationship, even before living together, I knew my wife got the occasional headache. So you knew? Anyways, she takes painkillers but says they don't help, so she'll usually spend the day in our bedroom and sleep. Kids are at home and wife has a headache. I'm working from home. The way he lays this out is so weird. Kids are doing what they normally do, playing. Wife texts me asking to keep them from making so much noise. I was in a meeting when she texted, so I didn't actually look at it till an hour later. She's upset, but the way I see it is, it's the children's home. They're playing. What am I meant to say? My wife has a headache, go read a book. I don't think I'm the a-hole wife does. Figured I'd ask here, am I the a-hole? 
yeah you are the a-hole the whole bit about like it's the children's home it's your wife's home too if anything it's your guys's home are the kids paying the bills no also i hate how he makes it seems as if children can't play quietly children also can play in a thing that's called outside where you can actually be noisy instead of being loud inside there's also a thing called inside voices you know what i'm saying doesn't mean your children have to sit down and read a book jackson i don't know what his name is but it just feels really fitting to call him jackson at this moment and it's the fact that he leads off with saying yeah my wife is known for having these really bad headaches and she takes painkillers but they really never help and so she just sleeps in her room all day knowing this knowing this he still sits there and decides to ask us the internet if he's the a-hole in this situation you know i want to go see what these comments are saying my wife has a headache go read a book yes that's exactly what you should say my daughter is three and when i have a headache i say to her honey would you please quiet down i have a headache and then she calms down so your kids should be able to do this too obviously it's not rocket science another one says i guess op has never had a migraine I'm sure he has. Whole house feels it when he has a migraine. He's probably one of those people who like downplays other people's sicknesses or when they're not feeling well. But when he's not feeling well, the whole house knows. He turns it up. All right, you guys, I'm actually going to end the video here. I'm already on my last battery life. My camera's about to die and my mic is flashing, letting me know that it's about to die as well. So anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, guys, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you made it to this point, you might as well subscribe. I upload every Sunday, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. But I hope you guys had the most wonderful Christmas ever. I hope you had lots of food. I hope you had lots of gifts. I hope you also gave a lot of gifts so with that being said guys always remember don't be the a-hole all right and i'm out of here bye